Creating with Cardboard. Students at Hilton Head Island School for the Creative Arts are building a cardboard arcade. Students are busy designing and cutting cardboard as they build fun interactive games that help teach math skills. Ring Toss is the name of my game. So I hand out a card and then you have to try to answer that question. And if you get it right, I'll give you the ring, one ring toss, um, all the ring tosses to um, throw them. And if you get it, then you get another turn. We'll throw a ball into a cup, and if you make it, there would be a word like PSH would mean push-ups. And there'd be one or two push-ups, and then there'd be good ones where it would be um, points, and then I'll get a paper, and then make points out of that. The students are using recycled materials and lots of cardboard, glue, and tape as they use their engineering and design skills to build the games. We're using pom-poms, little Easter egg plastic things. We're using hot glue. We're using glitter on pom-poms, eyeballs and then we're using the marker to shape it so we can cut it and we're using scissors too. We painted the water bottles with spray paint and we also you, we cut a box, we cut the edges and then we glued on the paper and the, that said ring toss and the back and the front. Three college students from the University of South Carolina Beaufort are volunteering in the classroom helping the students build. The three are studying to be teachers and are really enjoying working with the kids. It's really cool to be able to see their processes that they've been going through, um, creating their projects completely yeah, from scratch. Awesome. All of them are very different from each other and it's very cool to see their creativity come out into that. You can come play at the Cardboard Arcade Tuesday during the school's family night. It starts at 5.30 p.m. At Hilton Head Island School for the Creative Arts, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District.